Self-consistency is powerful. People resist betterment in the service of maintaining their own self-concept. There's got to be a way to get around that. Sometimes I talk about self-consistency in a joking way, but it's kind of true that there's like the self-consistency police and they come out in force if you violate the self-consistency norm. Well, it's true, we do resist changes to our self-concept, but there is a way around it. Here's how you get past the self-consistency police. You find a new path entirely that is like adding something new, a new piece of information, a new experience. We don't say a new experience didn't happen if we go somewhere and learn something new. And if we even discover from a teacher or a mentor uh, that we have qualities we didn't know about before, as long as it's additive and doesn't erase anything that we know for sure is true about us, and it's just that, oh, and I can do this also, that's the way around. That's like, sure, throughout your life, you know you went from not knowing how to ride a bicycle to riding a bicycle. It was new. It's okay for you to change in that way. But the fact that you have a quick temper or you're not good at uh, dancing or those are the things that we have a hard time absolutely switching. So if you're gonna learn to dance, you have to think of it as not changing the I can't dance thing, you have to think of it as, and treat it as if it's a special separate thing, like a different ante room to that I can't dance place. Like you might learn to do something where you move your feet, but it's called exercise. Well, there are ways around you not staying locked up in past perceptions of yourself, and they do have to do with extending out into new territory, going out in a part of the brain which doesn't have something active that's already in place that wants to resist you. And you can have those kinds of experiences all the time, especially if you learn something that you didn't even have a store of information about yourself. So for example, I had never learned to ride a horse. The only time I'd ever ridden a horse, I was like, uh, 12 years old, I got the ba on the back of an unbroken horse, it bucked me off and I never went on a horse again. But when I was in graduate school, wanting a break from writing my dissertation and still writing my dissertation, I took horseback riding lessons. Here's what's wild. Somehow I decided that I would simply listen to what the instructor did, I would have no existing preconceptions about riding from that one horse that bucked me off when I was 12. And I would just listen and I would simply do what they said instead of resisting. It worked. It was crazy. I was riding so well that pretty soon the instructor was saying, hey, I, you know, I was driving, I was riding Western, which means with a saddle, you know, like cowboys and that kind of thing. It wasn't, you know, uh, dressage kind of thing that I was getting ready for, but it wasn't the English writing. But it, here's what I did. She's taken me out when the other people are having trouble and she's showing me how to do like a running start where I, the horse is moving and I leap on, you know, put my leg over. I was having a blast and it was all because I didn't tell, me I, I tell myself I couldn't. And this was new behavior. So I was not going up against hard, uh, stuff inside my brain that was like hardwired in, I was going in a new area. That's how you can get around things. Label them creatively, go in a new direction, don't go head on with existing habits, and open yourself and act as if in the sense of having faith in the instructions you receive. That will take you far, and that is the way to work around the self-consistency theory the, the actual the wiring you have in your brain that says, no, I, I know what's it. This is the way it is. You have to reconceptualize that concept of yourself so it creates open spaces for you. And that's how you can do it. Since you're a high achiever, you may know about this. High achievers often hit a wall. 
They're going along, they're having one success after another, and then suddenly something happens and they grind to a halt. And it's confusing because they're not sure what it is they've done wrong, if it's anything. They just know that they're not moving anymore the way they're used to moving, the way they have moved in the past. If you've run into like what seems like a ceiling over you and you're kind of in a fog and you're mystified as to what's getting in your way, you can even kind of slide into a swirl of doubts and wonder if you've ever really achieved anything significant at all. And whether any of your amazing achievements that you've done were anything but kind of fronting or a little bit of a fraud. That is really negative and pernicious and it doesn't have to be that way. I want you to go get a free report from me. Go to drkenchristian.com forward slash breakthrough and receive from me this free report with action steps that are gonna tell you exactly what to do now to get you going.